search for truth. A powerful king dispatched teams of men to cross the world looking for truth. They crossed the globe seeking truth. After years of diligently searching throughout the earth, the teams returned to the king to reveal to him the one and only statement they could find that is true for all mankind. They unveiled to him the single statement that is universally true. There's no such thing as a free lunch. Whenever we're offered a free lunch or free software, it's wise for us to take a closer look and examine the true cost. IBM is offering free software, DB2 Web Query, because they say it's time to replace Query 400. You get four free users on a P10, and then you pay for the extras. Let's examine this free software and compare it to new generation softwares, NGS IQ. To do that, I'm gonna use this elevator. Looking at these two offerings as if they were elevators, with IBM's DB2 Web Query, the maximum number that can use it for free is four. If a team of five or more want to use it, they'll be blocked unless they pay for additional users. With NGS IQ, you pay for the capacity you actually need. The difference, however, is much more subtle and much more significant than that. With NGS IQ, the capacity works just like you'd expect for software or an elevator. Anybody can use it up to the capacity, say five, at the same time. With IBM, however, it works very differently. Only the specific named users can use DB2 Web Query. If any other person attempts to use it, they will be blocked. With NGS IQ, the capacity works just like an elevator. There's a, there's a limit on the capacity, the number of concurrent users, but anybody in the organization can use it, not just the select few. But IBM's method is to allow only specifically named users, as determined by their user profile, to use DB2 Web Query. Nobody else can use it. It's like, it's like installing an elevator that only four specific people can use. And if they're not using it, it just sits there, empty idle, unusable. The only time IBM's product can be used is if one of the specific named users, according to the user profile, uses it. The only way around this, without paying extra for every additional person that's ever gonna use it, is to steal the identity of a named user. That is, to use the user profile and password in order to gain access. Using someone else's user profile would get around IBM's named user restriction. There are significant security risks, however, in sharing user profiles and passwords to get around IBM's charges. Can you afford to let your limited resources sit idle? Can you afford to violate security in order to let others use DB2 Web Query? In your search for truth, remember, there's no such thing as a free lunch. New Generation Software. When your organization can't afford the free stuff.